Hey what's going on guys, so yesterday I saw Jumanji the next level and I thought it was good. I thought it was very enjoyable and it was definitely a step up from the previous film. Okay so if you want my thoughts on the first film real quick, I also like that one you know for a reboot slash sequel of the 1995 original film. I appreciated that they actually did a different take instead of just doing the same thing. The performances in that film were great but the only thing was that I didn't find the jokes to be that funny. Like yeah it's meant to be an action adventure comedy but they were kind of lacking in the comedy department for me. Luckily I thought this film was a lot funnier but you know we'll get into that. So in this film we see the characters Spencer, Fridge, Bethany and Martha doing their own things now. They're kind of separated. Spencer's grandpa Eddie also visits him. He's played by Danny DeVito and his ex co-worker Milo played by Danny Glover. Basically Spencer gets stuck in the game again so Fridge, Martha and Bethany go back in the game to save him but since the game is busted it actually takes Eddie and Milo and leaves Bethany behind so that means we now have The Rock playing Danny DeVito and Kevin Hart playing Danny Glover and Jack Black I'm the old fat dude becomes black I'm 100% nigga yeah so yeah then we basically just have the same plot as the last movie the characters have to go and get this jewel off the villain so they can leave Okay, so let's talk on what's good, and from th that's the performances. Just like the last film, the performances are just the highlights, especially The Rock and Jack Black being the standouts. I'm two hundred percent nigga. Also, by the way, um, Aquafina is in this film, and yeah, she was just plain awesome. Like she was great in this film as well. And can I just say, it's actually kind of refreshing to see Kevin Hart not play Kevin Hart for once. Finally. So not only was the humour better, but the action set pieces were also a step up from the first as well. For example, there's a section which involves like many bridges, which was pretty fun. Also, the movie has surprisingly more heart, which I wasn't expecting at all. But even though I like this film, yeah, it has its issues, so let's just go into that. Firstly, the actual reason why Spencer gets trapped in the game, making his friends having to go after him, was unnecessarily dangerous and kind of stupid if you ask me. I, I get this guy's meant to be insecure, but was it that deep? I mean, you don't feel like this character really thinks about what he's actually doing. Also, there are some inconsistencies with the NPCs in this. They say they have a certain amount of phrases they can say because, you know, they're non-player characters, but there's scenes where characters are talking to the NPCs, but they reply as if they don't have limited things that they can say. This was an issue in the first film by the way and it's still an issue here. Another thing is the villain, like fam, just like in the last film, he basically had no presence in this film like at all. Even less than in the first film as well. What? I mean he cast Rory McCann from Game of Thrones. Fuck the water, bring me wine. But you don't give him anything to do, like that's a waste to be honest. Bunch of nonsense. But yeah, besides from those gripes, I for the most part enjoyed this film, like I would recommend it for families. If they decide to do a third film, which they kind of sort of set up, they should try and bring back Bradley Pierce from the 1995 film. Would you say yes if they were like, hey, would you make a cameo? Probably. No, I would definitely do something in that if they wanted me to. Also bring back Van Pelt, cause that guy was scary in the original. Anyway, this was a quick review. My next review is going to be on Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, I'm kind of curious on how they're going to finish this saga but yeah this has been my review on Jumanji The Next Level, if you enjoyed this review make sure you like and subscribe, hit the bell, have a good day and God bless.